Hey, Broker Nation. I am Katie Sweeney, EVP of Strategy here at AIM, and we are back from Detroit, back from Fuse, and ready to jump right back into it with the next weekly sales meeting. This week, we are talking all about putting a plan into action. So we all learned a lot at Fuse. There was a ton of content. We had hours and hours of information from top originators, broker owners, everybody, industry experts from across the channel, it's time to actually do something about it. So tell us what you learned. What caught your attention? What caught your eye? What was something that stood out that you said, gosh, I need to be doing this. This is going to improve my process. It's going to create efficiency. It's something that can help my business long term if I start doing it now. Let us know what those things are and then do them. It's time to put our plans into action. It's time to actually start working on how are we going to feed our pipelines in six months? How are we going to have a staff that's prepared in 12 months? You have to start doing those things today to be ready for tomorrow. So get to work, start putting those plans um, into action, start working with your team, take anything you learned. Is it creating a lead funnel for uh, borrowers that have lower FICO scores and what your follow-up campaign is going to be in working with somebody like my credit guy. Is it reviewing your current tech stack and looking to see if there's a way to create some more efficiency? Is it training? Is it getting engaged with your local community and looking for ways that you can interact with other small businesses and entrepreneurs in your area? You guys can piggyback off of each other. Is it increasing your social, social media presence or working on how to build stronger referral partners? Any of those things are great but you have to start doing them for them to wind up benefiting you long-term. Start now. Everybody's busy. We all know that. But if you don't start now, you're not going to be ready when we hit the second half of 2021. It's time to get to work. Everybody's back. Now let's put these plans into place. The Brokers Are Better Network, if you had a chance to check them out at Fuse, we've got over 25 partners now. Check them out. You can find them on our website. We're not highlighting one in particular this week. We're talking about the network overall. You guys know this network was created to be able to compete with the big box retailers, those giant call centers that were right down the street from us when we were in Detroit. We want to be able to compete with them at scale. So make sure that you're evaluating your tech stack. Take a look at all of our BAB network partners and find some ways to create more opportunities operational efficiency or to create more visibility within your community. Use those network partners. You look at the coaches. Uh, there's all kinds of options there. Check them out. Aimgroup.com backslash brokers are better network. You can find everybody there. We've got new partners that'll be rolling out over the next couple of months as well. We're going to continue working towards creating that plug and play tech stack that everybody wants, but that's been really hard to achieve within this channel. We're going to keep making progress towards bringing on more partners that are going to help you do that and do it better. Our lender spotlight this week is UWM. They had a massive announcement at Fuse. It's their InTouch mobile app. If you haven't seen it yet, go download it. It's going to be your way to manage your pipeline, call an underwriter, get a lock status. You can actually interact with Siri. So you can talk to Siri asking questions about files that you have within the app. Check it out. It's available on the App Store, both iOS and Android. So it doesn't matter if you're an iPhone user or an Android user. It's available across the board. Take a look. Go back and check out Matt's session at Fuse if you want to hear more about it. He does a whole demo of InTouch at the end of his uh, speech. The Spark grant program was the other big announcement that we rolled out at Fuse. It's something we're really excited about here at AIM. We're going to be working with partners, including UWM and also HomePoint Financial, uh, along with a handful of others that have already reached out and expressed interest to focus on training and giving support and providing some growth to the broker channel for people that haven't typically had the same type of representation. We're going to be focused on women and minorities to get started. We're also already looking at expanding this grant because of the feedback that we've gotten and the outreach and the influx of support. So more to come on that. Go check out aimgroup.com backslash spark. If you want to learn more about the program, you can subscribe to updates on that webpage as we have more information and we get closer to the application submission phase in December. We'll be sending some email communications out. We'll also be sharing it in our Brokers Are Better community on Facebook, but go subscribe to that if you want to make sure you don't miss anything. Uh, Spark is something that I personally am really passionate about. I think it's going to be a great way for us to continue to grow the channel and to support local communities across the country because we all know brokers are the best positioned to serve consumers in their local areas. AIMFUSE Virtual is still available on 
demand. If you didn't get a chance to see all of the content on Friday, you can still watch everything right now. It's going to be available through this weekend. So hop back in, watch the panels that you missed the first time around, go check out some of the announcements that were made. There's a ton of content in there, over 10 hours of information. Everything's available on demand now. All of the vendor demos are also available on demand. So if there's anybody that you didn't get a chance to connect with and you want to learn more about, it's all there. It will be there through this weekend. Don't miss it. Go log back in. You can do it on the Aimfuse 2020 app or on the website. If you have any questions about it, you can always post them here in BAB or you can email us info at aimgroup.com. All right. We're headed back out to Renee. Take it over. All right. Well, we are back from an incredible event. And let me tell you, it was so great to see and meet and meet, uh, be able to speak to so many of you. And I want to give you just a big, big hats off. Thank you to the AIM team, to everybody that puts so much work into making such an incredible event. That is not an easy thing to do. And you did amazing. So if you're by your computer desk, I'm applauding you. I hope you can see that we're all applauding you. So now you're faced with a big challenge. You went to an event, you learned some things, you probably felt inspired, you took notes, you probably made some commitments to yourself. What am I going to do now? I say, oh, I heard that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to implement this. I'm going to implement that. And as soon as the event was over, life took over. Clients began to call you again. Uh, family took over, obligations, and maybe you just lost the emotion. That is the challenge that everybody faces at every event. And that's the main focus that I go into each one of my talks is how can we do something that is memorable, that is going to last. If you even go to my website, I try to bring value that doesn't leave the room when I do. It's a critical thing to think about. And so I want to leave you with two ideas that you can take away. And the first one is written right behind me here. It's the concept of simplicity drives execution. This is about execution. An idea not executed in business is worthless. Every idea that you have, that every note that you took that you did not execute on added zero value to your business. And so when it comes to the concept of execution, it's about taking it from start to finish. The idea fully implemented. The challenge though, is we overcomplicate things all the time. We think we need elaborate plans and we think we need to in, go through all sorts of hoops to be able to get this done. But the best businesses out there, and I've worked with some pretty big ones, they all function from the same philosophy of simplicity driving execution. And so what I want you to do, and if you're watching this, if you're in the comments, I want you to comment right now on one idea, one tool, one thing that you got out of this event that you know, if you were to do this one thing, it would have a dramatic impact on your business and your life. And I want you to put that in the comments right now. Secondly, I want you to put an activity that is involved in executing this. You're going to do this by doing this activity. I want you to put that in the comments as well. Then I want you to ask yourself whose help and support do you need? If you got, if they're in the group, call them out and I need so-and-so to help me execute this. And finally, by when let's put a date on this thing and let's execute with the hundreds of people and maybe even thousands of people watching this video. Imagine if you all just took one step and kept it super, super simple. So what's the idea or tool that you're going to implement? What is the practice or the behavior that's involved? Whose support do you need? And by when are you going to do this? Let's not make it any more complex and let's begin. And I'm going to leave you with an idea that actually our good friend, Jason Glass reminded me of, cause he kept asking me, Renee, are there any more acronyms uh, that we're going to be doing? We had PAPCAR, we had McSIT, but I'm gonna give you my all time favorite. And that's NME 2006. I was working with a client and I was so, so annoyed working with this group of people that were making so many excuses. He saw me, said, what's wrong? I said, I'm so sick and tired of salespeople making excuses. I came to realize it takes me two to three hours for me to help them see that they're making excuses. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to come up with a pin that says NME on it. It stands for no more excuses. He goes, NME, huh? Enemy. Because excuses are the enemy. And I said, 
Yes, that's exactly it. And of course, we've created those pins and that's something you see on almost every single one of my jackets. And of course, ironically, this is the one jacket I don't have it on, but I will put, post a picture of it. NME, no more excuses, because excuses are the enemy. So I want you to go through the plan, make it simple, and write somewhere, anywhere in your office, those three letters. And anytime you find yourself finding an excuse, just remember, enemy. Those are the enemy to execution. Well, back to you, Philly. Thanks, Renee. Thanks for uh, throwing that over to me. You know, I appreciate everything you do, the way you speak, the way that you have a light on everything and the way you attack everything is just, it gets me excited every week. So thank you for everything you do. And thank you, Katie, for your opening segment. So just to give you a quick introduction, my name is Mark Summers. I'm the president of AIM and I wanna welcome you to the weekly sales meeting. Now, we're just coming off Fuse. So there's a few things I wanna do here first, which is number one is I wanna thank everyone who either attended, you know, virtually, uh, helped us with the panel or our sponsors, our vendors, everyone. Uh, you know, it, it was a great event dealing with all the circumstances that we dealt with uh, and are dealing with it turned out to be a phenomenal event. We got a lot of compliments and you know I thank everyone for their kind words, but listen, this is what we do as brokers and this is what we do as an association is we adapt. And I'm telling you, we're the best at adapting. And my promise to you from AIM is that no matter what the situation is, we're gonna make it work and we're gonna do our best to give you top of the line products, top of the line show, anything that we do, we always try to do top of the line for you because you're, you're, you know, Matt Ishbia said it the best, you're our family, you know what I mean? And that's how we want to move forward. So everyone who is at Fuse, thank you. Um, you can still get on, uh, you can still get on the site, swap card and still review, you know, any panel that you want, any speaker that you want, you can still comment on it. So uh, it's a great way to kind of connect with us virtually, connect with your community. So you can still get on, it's still a great show. Um, I actually was on it yesterday reviewing some things and, and it was just still an amazing event. So thank you to everyone that was there. So usually the week after Fuse is arguably one of my most favorite weeks of the year because you come back re-energized, uh, you, you know, you speak to some of some of the best people and some of the best people in the nation uh, about how they do business, their mentality, their attitude, and it gets me fired up. I mean, pretty much after Fuse every year, I want to come back and almost revamp my business. And, you know, and, and obviously this week's uh, topic is, you know, taking action. Coming off Fuse, we got a lot of momentum, take action. So that's what, I, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm taking momentum. I was already, obviously, even the day after Fuse, I was in my office uh, for my broker shop, just changing things up, putting in new, new policies, procedures, just trying to get better. And that's what it's all about. So I want you to take action. So obviously with rates, as of now, you know, knock on wood, rates aren't going anywhere. So we have the ability to one, which is AIM's mission is grow market share, okay? So us as a community, we're going to do that. Um, and it's also a great way to build your book of business, but you have to take action on it and you have to get better. So my call to action for you guys this week is to ask yourself, and I want you to literally look in the mirror and ask yourself, what part of the business can you get better at? You know, and there's many different answers. And as I've always said, that's the most beautiful thing about being an independent broker is you get to use your own personality. You get to use your own beliefs and make your business and make your, basically your dreams come true, you know, your goals. So I want you to ask yourself, what can you take action on today? Not tomorrow, not next week, not, oh, I'm too busy. I got X amount of files. I got 40, 50 files going on. I want to take care of them. I want you to ask yourself today, what can you take action on? Now, some of some of the suggestions that we've been making um, and, and we've been preaching and I preached it at Fuse a lot, which was, I think, staff up. You know what I mean? We have to staff up if you want to be, if you want your business to grow. Okay, and I think we all wanna grow here, especially during these times. We're in, a, we're in a little gold rush here, so take advantage of it while you can, but I'm gonna tell you one of the best things you can do is staff up. So is that your call to action? Is it technology? You know, I don't know, is it your CRM? Listen, I'm just trying to throw out ideas for you because you know your business better than anyone. So look in the mirror and ask yourself what you can take action on. So those are some suggestions, those are some things I'm hearing. Now there's one more call to action that I want you to do. So everyone that I spoke to, you know, we had some panelists out in Michigan. Everyone I spoke to said they were exhausted. They were super busy and that's great and that's phenomenal. And obviously we're all super busy, but I want everyone to take action personally. And what I mean by that is we can get so wrapped up with realtor calls, underwriting calls, everything possible, staff calls, 
Whatever the case may be, we are under a lot of pressure and under a lot of stress. So what I want everyone to do is also take a call to action to do something personally for yourself daily, even if it's just for 20 minutes, meditation, a walk, a run, a workout. I don't care what it is, but I want you to take care of yourself because we are in times right now where we're all stressed out, we're busy, and I don't want anyone snapping here. Uh, we have to realize what kind of times we're in. We're, just like I said, we're in a little bit of a gold rush time here, and it's a great time, but it's really easy to snap. It's really easy for people to lose their patience. A lot of people are stressed out, so do something for yourself personally. Just like I said, even if it's 15 minutes or an hour, I don't care. Uh, we're all working around the clock, but you gotta take a little time for yourself personally, so that's what I want you to take action on. So the two calls of action today that I want you to take is obviously to repeat, which is number one, take action on your business. Whether you're a broker, owner, or a loan officer, how can you get better? That's when you gotta look yourself in the mirror and say, what can I do today to grow my business for the future? So I have a market-proof business for the future, okay? Then number two, just like I said, take, take something for yourself personally. Don't want anyone snapping here. Don't want anyone just losing their mind. It's really easy to do. It's really easy to get caught up. So there's two tips though that I want everyone to use this week. And just like I said, we get so wrapped up in our files. We get so wrapped up in one part of our business that we forget a lot of different things, which is number one is we have, including AIM, with AIM, we, our vendors and lender partners, they're the best in the business. You we forget that a lot of our lenders right now, our lending partners, have so many tools for us. I mean, look at UWM, they just came out with their new app their new app on their phone where you can talk to Siri right on it. So, you know, and it will give you answers. It's it's amazing. So make sure you're using the tools that our lenders and our and our vendor partners that are part of the Brokers Are Better Network, make sure you're utilizing them. You know, maybe visit our webpage and see what vending partners we have, vendor partners we have, and see if there's one, one vendor there that can make you and help you take your business to that next level. So utilize the resources that you have. We have a ton of resources. That's one of AIM's missions right there is to give you as many resources as possible so you can become better. And that's what it's all about. And number two tip, as we're taking action right now, and maybe you don't know what, what action to take here, lean on your community. We have the Brokers Are Better Network. It's the best network out there. It's the best community out there. Lean on each other. Lean on me, lean on someone else that may be a little bit more like you, maybe someone in your state, I'm not sure. But I do know this, is our community is the best, so lean on them when it comes to taking action because we're gonna take action today. That's the whole goal today is you're going to take action on something to make yourself better. We have fuse momentum, we have low rates, we have everything possible. Know that being a broker is the best way to go and you guys know that. We have to explain this now to our clients and get it out to as many people as possible. A lot of great things happen here, but you're not gonna get better and you're not gonna build your business unless you take action on something today. Write it down, post it somewhere. I don't care, you know your personality. Take action on something today. So legislation wise, I always try to give you some sort of update. It's kind of at a stalemate right now. They're talking about some relief packages, but nothing's really happened yet. Um, obviously uh, we have an election coming up, so it's probably our legislation, our legislative updates are gonna probably get you know ramped up a little bit here. Uh, so we'll keep you updated as we know more. So guys, listen, Everyone who attended Fuse, thank you. As I said, you can still go back and watch it. We got a lot of momentum. It's your job to take action. I wanna thank you for uh, joining me today, uh, Katie and Renee as well, with uh, you know our weekly sales meeting. My name's Mark Summers, I'm the president of AIM. Keep crushing it this week and we'll see you next week.